comes to mud. Bring down the volume then. Oh, you're yelling. I, I start I yelling. yelling sometimes, but so, wait, who's that in the background? Uh, John's uh, roommate and sometimes lover, uh, Brad. Fred? That sounds like a man's name. No, Brad. Brad. Oh, Brad. Brad. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, sometimes lover isn't a good way of describing him, but. I, I knew John I mean, was a little gay man. Once I seen him, he's he's got that handsome guy vibe. Like, I was just like <laughs> I'm just fucking around. He's handsome, but in a non-traditional way, is what I like to say. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> maybe, maybe it's like uh, a tamper glass on the side of your computer. It's because he's too mm-hmm. hairy, isn't class? it? Kind of explodes. A little bit. Easy? Is that kind of break for leaves? Pops, it goes everywhere. It is. It is. It is, Brad. Yes. Yes. I can't control how you guys feel about each other. Oh, Brad's gonna break the. <laughs> Last. Okay. Speaking of Brad, have you ever seen Deadpool two? I have. I actually have. I, you know, fucking what, Brad I, I get it. was the invisible dude. Was he? There's no way that's. You didn't is that real? See it? I caught it in no. theaters. Like the, the when they all X Force drops from the helicopter or plane, they all yeah. start dying except for Domino. And then the invisible dude hits the wires, and for not even like half a second, you see a face. It's Brad Pitt. Oh wow! I didn't even notice that. Man. And according to Marvel Lord, uh, what's his Ryan Reynolds went and delivered coffee just for that. He's like, dude, look, I'll, I got you coffee, some donuts. I, I might suck your dick. I don't know, but here, just come play a half second. <laughs> well, golly, well, that's worth it. I mean, I could see why you would do that for sure. Okay, let me listen to it again. I want to hear it, see if it's a little bit better. Wait, what are you listening to? Wait, the way, what you're recording. Let me see. Oh, let me hear. Did I send it to you already? Yeah, or I think I did. I want to hear it and see how I sound. Okay. I'm just. I'm going to send you the first one because I don't want to stop recording because this is already good content, I feel like. <laughs> and, uh, the audio hasn't changed, honestly, but um, let me let me figure this out because I'm... I know there's, like, programs you can run in the background to improve sound quality, and I was thinking about that, but See, I, I was looking got... into it, um, and I just... I don't know. For right now, I'm kind of in between, like, hungover kind of drunk and just making bad decisions so i'm like man i don't want to read stuff but i'm going to invest in like a what are those the volume board things they have at concerts i i want to call it a pa i don't know what it's called i don't know what it's called either i know what you're talking about no i've heard that there are just like free stuff i can i can download on my computer so when my recording goes through, it goes through that program and makes it sound better, I heard. And See, so it doesn't sound... The dude who taught me what I should have paid more attention to but know about podcasting, he uh, did most of this from his iPhone, Apple stuff. Like, didn't I didn't need a laptop. He would, at the very most, use a tablet. I would see that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess... Um, but I feel like that's why we got the the crazy situation going on was because I was trying to do it for my like my work phone, and I have a like a Bluetooth speaker I used on calls on my work phone, and I thought, oh well, this is, I do this for eight hours a day, it should sound somewhat good. But I think that's where a lot of the robot, like the latency and all that stuff, went wrong. I, I think it I think it sounds decent, you know. I mean. I've had I've had podcasts where I interviewed a band and I couldn't even figure out why this dude's voice wouldn't come through. So we just said fuck it and read what he typed instead of like actually solving the problem. So here we are like making that, making moves, you know what I mean? We're actually figuring out <laughs> making problems. waves, doing stuff here. Yeah, technology. Technology. So I Let's really see. want to talk. I, I want to wait till John gets here, but I haven't heard from him yet. But dude, this new episode. Is, I don't know how you yeah. get about watching cinematic stuff. I cried. Oh, not, ah! not as hard. Not as hard as Endgame, but it wasn't until my wife asked me like why I was crying or why I was getting like emotional. I was like. 
it's just it, 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 I don't know. I don't want to talk about it until he gets here. But it's so oh, beautiful, dude. man. It's like a it's it's like a love story or fucked up. I don't know. And people hate Agatha for some reason. I do. Like I I'm mad because uh, she um, she kind of ruined my theories. I did not think she was going to be someone so important, and I feel dumb for that. It was so obvious. I know, but it's, I mean, looking back at it now, like, looking back and, like, looking at it now, it kind of seems like, hey, how is that so, I don't know, I just, uh, I feel dumb about it. I mean, but, I kind of didn't want it to be so obvious, but once I started messaging y'all, like, dude, Agnes, Agatha, Harkness, come on. Slash. Oh, don't say that. Senior Scratch is Mephesto. Think them? He dies in hell. The and the bunny know. rabbit. He oh, is. He ate bird. the bird. Have you ever seen a rabbit eat a bird? I've seen plenty of rabbits eat birds. So that oh, you're lying. I, I just remember when the kid said that she could bring back Sparky. Yeah. She was. Oh, why don't you come and talk to? She was like, "You can do that." He re- oh. Yeah, she wants to know. She can. Oh. So Brad just had a good. Uh, Revelation here. His theory is that uh, Agatha is looking to bring back Mephisto into the real world, and I'm thinking it's gotta it's gotta have something to do with the kids. I don't know. I feel like that's John's whole thing too. I don't know. Both of them. I kind of with one episode left. I can't imagine the there being much more. Be and you've never seen yeah. Ralph. Did you not right. see the picture I sent y'all in the group chat? I know I say a lot in that, but um, I sent y'all one. There was a picture I, I found from, uh, I guess, someone leaked a uh, screenshot from epi- the last episode. Let me pull it up. I'll send it. Let me scroll through. I'll just send it here in Discord. I think I have it on my phone. Yeah, there it is. Look. Let's see. People All say right. it's got yeah. like Fantastic Four vibes to it. It's been a little... Oh shit! I sent it to Max. Fuck. Uh, See, I'm I'm a mil- proud millennial, but I'm kind of technologically retarded. <laughs> you're fine. You're, you're not. I feel like you can't possibly be as bad as John is. Like John's pretty bad, and I think it's because I have to admit it's he's he's just a, a he doesn't want to like learn about new stuff at all. Like, and that's what drives me crazy. Is he calls it witchcraft technology? Yes, he's super That's against the most technology. Boomer thing I've ever heard. It's witchcraft, he'll say and yell at me. This sounds like my dad. He he he's a certain way. No, I'm just kidding. He's he's just not like he's not interested in that. If it's not something to do with like uh, figurines, pops, or something like that, or music, he he doesn't really tried too hard but he's been doing more on the like the recording part because he's trying to get set up so he could do some video like audio editing and stuff like that so he's, he's kind of going crazy on that there um how, how did no, he record uh, though like his laptop i don't know to be honest with you because there's I a tell- free audio editing software that's really good and i mean i'm sure there's a better one if you use apple but i'm like strictly against apple for no reason at all i just don't like it but um, for Windows, Audacity is amazing. It's so easy. Audacity. Now, uh, John's uh, he's he's against Windows or he's against Apple too. I don't know why. I I use Apple just because it was one of the very it was the first smartphone I got. And so once you start off with that, like that's the first tech you have. It's so difficult to switch because I tried a Galaxy uh, S4 and I, I couldn't I couldn't get used to it. I couldn't. I hated all the customization options. I hated all the, like, I had so much freedom. And I didn't want freedom. I wanted everything done for me. And it's been kind of crazy about that. But, no, this weekend's been oh, just a mess. I've been kind of super busy just looking stuff up and researching and playing with my new computer, uh, which I super love. I got this new game computer. It's the first time I've ever actually had a super powerful gaming computer and well i mean it's not that great it's probably like mid-tier but mid-tier is the best i've ever done because before i used to have to um before i used to have to play games without um like without shadows on or high graphics and i get like maybe two or three frames per second 
now I can get a steady like on just like high settings, uh, 120 frames per second. So it's pretty like it's huge difference, and I I just don't know what to do with myself for then. Dude, that's more than I've ever had. Like, I mean, I've yeah. had decent. I've never built a computer, but like I've had decent PCs. But while gaming, I've always had like this problem where it's like some things are grayed out like my video card or whatever was so bad that it wouldn't even show it it would show the shape but it was just great like i've never like when i played world of warcraft i played for a few months but i played through the pain of not being able to actually see the colors of things and that's how i was for a long time i was kind of like well i don't really need to invest a lot of money into a uh a nice computer. I don't want to do that. And I've been planning uh, for this guy uh, about a thousand bucks. All in all, it was ended up being about a thousand. That's way cheaper than I would have guessed. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean, there's some pretty nice like pre builds, and I already had a lot of people who like already provided me stuff, and I mean, it it was it wasn't too bad. Like right now, probably the hardest stuff, like the hardest thing you can do <laughs> is uh, is get a GPU because. Like, I guess, I don't know, I guess COVID caused people to want to build their computers now. So, GPUs are, like, a like super, super rare. I can't, like, it's hard to find them. And then, like, most GPUs are super poor quality for the price you're paying. Like, I know, like, some of them range in, like, maybe a $200 GPU is going for, like, $700. I've never even heard of a GPU to beat... Honestly, it's just a gra- that's a graphic card is a GPU. Oh, okay. GPU. Yeah. So I Wait, ended up getting quick, um, real quick. Have you heard anything from John? Mm, yeah. So John, this is this is something you'll get to know about John pretty well, and it's it, it's it's one of his I would say characteristics that's kind of unique unique to John is that when he says he'll be like here in like five minutes. It means it'll be take another hour. So well, he he's usually seven thirty. So it's, yeah. I mean... So I wouldn't be surprised if we hear back from him at like maybe nine or something because he gets distracted easy. He's he's kind of like that. He's a he gets really distracted. I don't know why he went over to Max's though today, but I kind of wouldn't. I kind of needed. Guess. Well, I was gonna say I kind of needed Max to come over here, and he was gonna help me set up. He was gonna sign in with his Steam account and let me get access to some of his stuff. Look, he Dude. played Max plays RuneScape. You should play RuneScape. That that I love that game so much. I might download it. I mean, right you don't even have to download it. It's a browser game. I mean, you can download oh, like wow. clients to play it from. There's old school RuneScape which I I play that came out oh. whenever I was in junior high. And they have RS3 which people compare to World of Warcraft a lot. And it's it it's cool because it's like such an easy game to get you don't have to pay for all the dlcs like wow i don't no. even know how many they have now i feel like 12 14, now, something like yeah that. they're all the way to like shadow i think it's like shadowlands i was just playing a few seconds ago Honestly, like shadowlands. that is blizzard's second best game diablo oh. that's that's where it's at <laughs> i like diablo i like the dungeon crawl like i was gonna i was surprised you didn't say like overwatch that's kind of like a lot it. of friends are um, I got a lot of friends who play Overwatch. It's a lot like Apex Legends. I mean, it was the very first you know, hero. I mean, well, not the very first one. I think Team Fortress was the first one. But the only I mean, shooter I've ever been able to get into was Destiny, and I got obscenely into that. This is pretty good. I've never been a big Bungie fan, though. I know oh, I don't like. Oh, dude, I want to get a Master Chief tattoo. I love Bungie. <laughs> I want to get um I want to get a tattoo of um a Bulbasaur eating a uh, a Charmander and underneath it the it'll say the meek will devour the strong. Well, that's just ignorant because effect wise, that no no fire burns grass, dog. That's no, yeah. no that's what I say. The- people always shit on Bulbasaur, but if you look at like legit stats, he's strong as fuck. Compared to he's, everybody yeah. else, and he's actually in like the higher tiers. Like Char Charizard didn't even get in the higher tiers until he got his mega evolution. Um, honestly, and like, didn't even I mean, call him a dragon until like here recently. 
Like he, yeah. he blows fire. He, he has wings. He's a lizard. Come on. He's a flying fire breathe fire thing. He's got nothing to do with dragons until no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know. I guess their concept because I figured like you know Gyarados should be considered a dragon since it looks like a dragon to me. Shenron. But I'm compared. But I don't. I don't know why they just had that. They only had one dragon in all of the first generation and it had it its own type. I'm sure there's other like. I feel like they should have had. They I guess have one in Gen One. Well, one dragon generation. Like, there's only like uh, uh, Dragon Air, Dragatini, and uh, Dragon Knight. So it's like they're. I mean, that's you're not gonna have right. a team full. Yeah, that's the only ones that have the dragon. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, typing. In the. I'm looking it up now. Uh, it's gonna take me a minute, <laughs> but uh, but typing. I think dragon's the worst type. Uh, no, normal is, then bug, then dragon. Because why would dragon be weak against dragon? That don't make no sense. I mean, like, the, the ice weakness is pretty bad. I think really, like, stat-wise, when you average all the dragons together, because they're the pseudo-legendaries, like, a good portion of pseudo-legendaries are dragons. So you're, you're, you're looking at, like, if you average all the, 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 the Pokemon in, in each particular type, dragon always shoots up really high. But in general, it's it's because there's less of them, and they all have super high stats. But the the problem is, yeah, that ice weakness, and now they've introduced fairy weakness, and that's like the fairies are immune to uh, dragon type attacks. But I mean, if you're using a dragon type Pokemon, you're really not using it for like you're not going to use a dragon type attack. I mean, the only thing that's really weak against dragon is dragon. So you're not gonna. I mean, I guess you're gonna get the stab bonus, but you're really not going to go crazy on that. Like, I mean, Dude, I don't I know. That's my right. Executor is dragon now, but in Gen 1, it was grass poison or grass psychic. And then Charizard was just fire. So there, that's crazy. There was only three of them. That is one thing that bothers me is like ex- a lowland executor. I mean, executor. Executor. Uh, I feel like he should not have been a dragon. That is the least dragon of the dragons, I Why feel like. Why is he a dragon now? He, he's just a really tall tree that re- looks kind of retarded, honestly. I mean, our yeah, way, he, my bad. He, he was one of my... Uh, he was actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I mean, honestly, like my very favorite is Volcarona, uh, the Fire Moth. Um, I mean, in Generation 5, they released him, and... He's my absolute favorite. I love Snorlax and, and all the other ones, but um, I don't know. I used to really, really like Executor, and I feel like they kind of butchered my boy, and I feel bad that he... I mean, I feel like Psychic's a way better um, typing than Dragon. If you were so, a gym leader, what type would you be? In, uh, I mean, what is that? Pe- people have opinions. I, if I had to guess, I would I feel like I'd you be would normal. be... I kind of want to say bug, but then I feel like you would be psychic. I don't know. I like bug too. I am not a problem with bug. There's one good bug. It's the it's the roly poly one. Uh, uh, Venipede no, no, or something like that. Venipede and Venipede is a pretty big beast. But like I said, Volcarona, phenomenal Pokemon. We're looking at. I mean, sure, like he has. Uh, dual weakness to Stealth Rock, so you're really not going to be using him in the competitive scene. But if you play a playthrough with one of those, I mean, yeah, sure, he doesn't evolve until like level, I think, like 64 or something, but he is a beast stat wise. Like, I mean, we're looking at phenomenal stats. Uh, he has some of the, be- like, the best um, uh, moves in the game, without a doubt. Like, let me Two see. Six. I forgot. Arceus is bug, apparently. The. He could be, uh, Arceus could be, like, well, it says multi but the main yeah. one is Bug right here. Yeah. Well, you can, uh, well, that's what's great about Arceus is, you know, you get the different plates, equip the different plates. He has different, uh, types because of that. I don't know. I was never a big Arceus fan because he's so he like, like, a type null or sil, silvally or whatever. He's, the, he's basically like a generic, I, I like to call him the Walmart brand 
um, Arceus. And, I mean, oh, hey, John just joined us. Today. Oh, no, he just messaged us. Well, Let's see here. You better um, not uh, send some tea. I'm not logged. I'm not logged in yet. Let's see. I'm not logged in on my phone anymore because I stupidly... Uh, uh, here is... Uh, let me log in. He said he just he was doing stuff at Max's. Just got home. You know what that well, means? Oh what? yes, romance. And oh. you know what? I'm happy for him. I fully support him. If he wants to be in a romantic relationship with another man, I fully support that. That's the thing. Like you know, you can't control what you like. You just, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. And so, if you want, if you like something, accept it and move forward with it. And no one should judge you because whatever happens in the bedroom. Is your thing? Like I wouldn't want someone to judge. I wouldn't want someone to judge me for liking to lick feet. Like that would be horrible. You do not. You're lying. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, yeah. Of course, I, yeah. Look, yeah. I'm you know, lying. I know yeah. a dude. That, I know a dude that lo- is um, somewhat infamous in my town for being a toe sucker. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, That's dude, the word. This dude, he's like, uh, like. 30 something and he parties with like the 18 to 20 year olds and he loves those toes no he doesn't love toes he's oh. married to a toe oh gosh yeah no because i, I kind of like i used to i had a friend like i've I, i've had a lot of weird experiences because went from like 20 to 25 I was super into World of Warcraft, and so I had a lot of crazy friends. And um, one of them, I mean, a lot of them had weird fetishes. Like one, <laughs> like there's, there's this one person. Ah, uh, thirty-three, I want to say thirty-two, thirty-one. 30. The glasses make you look younger, but anyway, oh, weird. I try uh, to be honest with you. I have this weird thing about me with my glasses. I have no confidence when I'm wearing my glasses. I'm like two completely separate people. So if I'm wearing my glasses, I am. I I, I know I don't have any confidence. I don't have any can't, like. And then you take them off. You're Superman. I feel like that honestly, because uh, I feel like uh, it. It took me a while to really accept how I, I looked in glasses. I still don't. I, I still think I look kind of well. But um, no, I was gonna say what was I guess? Oh, about the fetish thing. Um, like I knew a few people like. So this one girl, she was super into urination, and I I get why she said it, um, because it wasn't really a concept of you know being gross or anything like that. It was an intimate liquid that only you know you only share with someone you care about. And the way she described it, I was like, oh, I get it now. That that makes that makes sense. Like I would I could see like I'd only want to share my intimate liquid with the person I'm in love with. And would I your wife? That. Would your wife agree with that? No, oh, geez, so she thinks it's sad. disgusting too. I'm not into the. I, I I think like yeah, the cleanup part kind of ruins it for me. But that's why you just the, get a tar. But no, like I remember how she described it to me, and then it kind of made me think. Well, I guess that makes perfect sense. And then I also had a friend that's a furry, and and I know a lot of people like to make fun of them, but I feel like. You know, being a furry, it doesn't start off as a, a sexual thing. It's more like, you know, you're you kind of feel kind of rejected by society. It's you don't almost feel like a, becoming like like changing your gender, like like instead of identifying as from male to female, you're like from male to a wolf. But it kind of starts off like, oh hey, you know, I don't really feel comfortable in my settings. I don't feel comfortable going out in public. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel like people accept me. But then once you start, you know, like she started with first, like she just liked the whole, you know, making costumes thing, and she made a furry costume, and then she put it on, and she's like, oh, "I'm just doing this for fun," and kind of transitioned into more, just little by little by little, and I liked it. I don't know, I got, I get why she did it. I couldn't do it because I, oh, the the sheer amount of heat that has to be, like, unless it's like winter, I can't imagine wearing one of those things. I just got to notice about. Fortnite. I don't even play Fortnite. Dude, you're cracking me up, man. I gotta ask, do you like drink or do what your brother does or anything like that? I don't want to actually... I, I, no, no, you're fine. I'm actually pretty straight-laced. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't do 
basically anything. Why? I just uh, because, and this is kind of crazy. The reason why I don't drink is it tastes terrible to me. I don't know. I just can't take the taste. Which part? I drink, it's like that first initial like that taste. It's got that little kick to it that I don't like. It's like oh. Here, this is, and it, it's with every drink, like wine, beer. I've tried to become an alcoholic. I've tried to, <laughs> to get into it, but I can't do it. It's just the taste is so bad, and I'm just like, oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. Mm-mm-mm. And I always feel like crap afterwards. So I'm well, glad it's, it's. My wife is like that too. She she's tried to drink with me, and she she will or has, but it just makes her feel horrible. Like back in the day when I first moved to Lubbock, um, I think I was 22, we'll say 22, I was drinking like a handle of whiskey a day. That, that's oh, wow. Like, yeah, dude, like um, to the point to where I was having seizures because I was drinking and partying too hard. It's crazy, man. But I was just going to work. Yeah. Work, uh, piss drunk. It, yeah. But that's crazy, man. Like. I mean, I, I I commend that 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 that's cool that like, except for the part that you've tried to become an alcoholic. Oh no, now that's more of just a joke. I tried to drink, but I just can't do it. I, I, I don't, the only time I really ever drink is probably around like my birthday, and that's the one time you'll see me like super drinking. And you that's... never had like a like a a really good mixed drink. Because you're saying, think, like, you don't like the taste, like, as a very broad comparison. Like, I can understand not liking beer or wine, but, like, if you take a certain type of liquor and put some, like, flavors and soda and whatnot in it, it's delicious. It tastes better than any soda I've had. It tastes better than, like, cupcakes I've had. You know what I mean? I did not know that. I don't know. I guess I got to try it then. Because I think that's my issue is because I don't really try really good stuff. I, I try really terrible stuff. Like, there was this one time... Okay, so this restaurant closed, but it was... Like, did you know on uh, University, that huge um, parking garage, there used to be, like... There used to be, a, like, a Mexican restaurant underneath it. Like um, I didn't know that, but... I think it was called, like, Blue Mesa, something like that. Blue Mesa, something, something the close food was to good. that. Uh, the food was great, but me and my wife, uh, we were there, and we tried... the. I think it was what was it called the the bacon shot? I think no maple the breakfast shot something like that. You so what it a was breakfast shot from a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, it was like bacon mixed with maple syrup and tequila, and it was the worst thing I ever tried. The it's bacon was it, raw. That's a white person thing. I've had that's, that from a steakhouse here in Snyder, and he didn't put syrup in it because that's. That's disgusting. I would not want to drink anything that. That's all. Oh, that was it. It was like half syrup and half liquor, and and Look, then he like put some some whiskey, some orange juice, something else, and then a half slice of bacon, and it tasted like I was drinking pancakes and syrup with bacon. Uh, mm. For for uh, okay, for one, you said it was maple syrup, tequila, and bacon. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds that's ex- like something a thirteen-year-old made. <laughs> it, it was, and it was nine bucks. I remember. I was like, "Oh God!" I always remember that. It was nine bucks, and I was so mad about that. Look, uh, whenever we were in Lubbock last weekend, I think um, Sunday we went to Torchies. I don't know if you like Torchies tacos, but they have. I love their, uh, I guess brunch drinks. And I got this thing called a tequila sunrise. And it was te- a little bit of tequila, orange juice, and some cherry flavored stuff with a cherry on top. Dude, delicious. That does sound really good, actually. It's like Not drinking a- dessert, man. And 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 if you aren't the one to become an alcoholic, you can just drink them and you know, like what do they say? Uh, enjoy responsibly. Uh, well, you know what? I mean, honestly, like. I think if you drink irresponsibly, you're not gonna be bad. Like that's that's just not like um, uh, that's just not something that like happens. I guess if you're being responsible. Well, that's not me. I'm an alcoholic, and I hate that. But um, but it's I actually had do. a DUI. Check it out. Look, DUI, but I wasn't driving. 
Oh, how did how does that happen? I was having some at the pool with my buddies. Yeah. This we went and ate fried chicken, and I'm like, man, I'm sleepy. I want to go home. So bad idea. But I I drove home, and um, I was like, dude, I'm really sleepy. So I pulled over to the side of the road, put the car in park, and fell asleep, like right beside a stoplight. Golly, that's not bad. Then yeah, if you're sleeping, I I don't think you should get in trouble for sleeping. Like I think honestly, you should be allowed to sleep it off in your own car. But the amount of uh, alcohol in my blood said differently, so I get it. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I guess I don't know. I guess that's why I'm uh, uh, I don't make laws. So <laughs> um. You sound like you know a lot more about Pokemon than I do. I, Diamond I, and Pearl yes. is the one that I've the only one I've never gone all the way through. Uh, they're they're considered in, in the because uh, I'm real. I I mean I'm real passionate about Pokemon. That is my jazz. That's my alcohol. Um, no, I mean I, I I used to be like. Did you super, get all the legendaries like, and sword? <laughs> no, I I didn't even buy the expansion. I I wasn't a big fan of sword. I. I don't like the newest versions because I feel like they've like dumbed it down to the point where it's it doesn't feel quite like Pokemon, and I, and and I think that's because I mean the experience candies you get like so if you go through the Wildlands then you get experience candies yeah you do the and you can just level up yeah you can just level up to a hundred like in instantly and it's it kind of takes the fun out of it it used to be kind of difficult you know to grind to a hundred okay, now it's just like from blue version where you couldn't even press select to go to your bike or hold b to run you had to go through your your item options compared to now yeah it's super simple but i thought the uh wildlands thing was awesome max raids it made it like an mmo ish which is what i want and i i I like that i mean i'm not like uh, I like that. I just didn't like the drops, like those those experience candies. I didn't like that. I kind of wish they would have made it more difficult to to be like to level up. And I mean, I guess that's kind of a silly thing to make things more difficult to ask. But I feel like that would help, like that, because when it was more of a like a lot slightly more of a grind. Because I see why they tried to stop it is because people hate the grind. But I think there's a certain level of grind you need in the game, and that, that to me, I feel like they've taken away. And what, honestly, what's like, your favorite generation? Uh, generation, I think it's either, it's it's a tie between four and five. And honestly, really? four is amazing because four would be I mean, what diamond, uh, diamond and pearl. And so basically, with four, what's crazy about this is that the difficulty was never higher. Like, like honestly, that was probably, like, the difficulty of 4 is probably the best. It was never too drastically high if you, you know, you really, you know, you IV'd and EV'd and all that stuff. But, I mean, in general, like, the 4, the trainers felt like this is serious business. And then you Wait, have so the Frontier. Five? 5 is black and, and white. And that's going to be the probably the next one they come out with. Uh, black and white is is good. I the message they have is kind of like it. you. Uh, I was a, like I I like that they had so many additions, like so many of the like additions to Pokemon. Like there's they added a whole nother like 150, I think. But I liked it because a lot of the newer Pokemon. I know, I don't know. Like know the a lot of them seemed like a little crappy, but I really I don't know. It has good memories. I, like I think it's. I guess the the reason why I like five so much is that's the one I got back into because my wife got it for me for because I went without playing for like like twenty years for like or not twenty years like ten years and it was because my uh, uh, my wife got it for me for Christmas and I remember just having good memories of it because I just uh, we were one uh, New Year's Eve I was just sitting there playing while we were waiting for New Year's to go through. And I remember it was a party, and people were having fun all around me and hanging out and being crazy. And I was just a little nerd in the corner playing Pokemon. I was like, I just got to get – let me evolve this one guy, and I'll be good. And I was just like, click, 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 click. Okay, let me, let me get this. But, no, I'm kind of excited. 
My only worry about the uh, Arceus, the new one, the new open world MMO, like there's, there, or I don't even know if it's MMO yet. They're going to fuck it up. I mean, that's just what it is. My problem is they're going to have the Fallout 76 uh, issue where they only had one town and it's just going to have one little town and the rest is just going to be open space, but there's nothing going to be in that space. And if you don't put content in there, there's no point having an open world. Like you can have an open world, and it's great, but if there's no content, then what's the point of having an open world? Look, I hate the Bethesda online games. I didn't even play Fallout 76, but if Pokemon did an actual MMO, I think it could be pretty cool. Like, yeah. when you see a trainer, you just walk up to him like, hey, want a battle? All right, cool. Or, hey, team up, double battle somebody? All right, cool. Or, like, you know, like, a real MMO, not just go into a yeah. raid and find random people. And maybe do the, like, because I know they tried to do it with the the uh, Gigantomax Pokemon. But, I mean, in general, I was like, uh, I think they're going down the right path. I think you they're going down the right path. You didn't play the first DLC? That one was good. Mm, I didn't download it. I the was second like, one uh, is horrible. I was just like, I just didn't want to pay money for it. I felt bad because I was like, I already bought this game, and I feel like, uh, I don't want to pay more money for something like this. This is the first and, time Pokemon's done DLC, though. That's yeah. And usually they just kind of give you a, another one: Ultra Sun, yeah. Ultra Moon, Black Two, yeah. White Two. I bought Ultra Sun or Ultra Sun after buying Ultra or just buying Sun, and I regret that too. But I tried to get like I was like oh, I just wanted to play it because I bet it's gonna be fun. And then just like yeah, black black and white too. They were completely like separate stories. So Ultra Sun was just kind of like I feel like they were just like remakes of uh, Sun and Moon, and they just added more content, which kind of made Sun and Moon pointless at that point. And I really didn't want to play them. Oh, my wonderful, beautiful, amazing wife just brought me a sandwich. Ooh. How long have you been married? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, okay, so I, you're about to get yeah, divorced. I was like, uh, let's see. I got married in 19, in 19, no, uh, 27, 2017. So we've been married four years now. Take the question mark off that, and you'll probably be able to sleep in your bed tonight. <laughs> no, no, I'm, Mika's pretty cool. She's, a, she's probably the the coolest wife I've ever had. Well, tell her I said hi, but check it out. I think my wife's cooler because you want to know when my anniversary is. What May fourth? May fourth? Uh, Star my... Wars Day. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some weird reason, my wife was really wanting May thirteenth as our anniversary date, and I tried to tell her, "Hey, you're gonna have a Friday the thirteenth come up here and there." And she's like, "No, no, no, I really want this day." And I was like, "Okay, well, let's do it," and we did it. And now, every now and then, we'll get a Friday the thirteenth come through. I we bet we got married on a Friday the thirteenth. Did we? Yeah. I knew it. I was about to say that, but I didn't want to be that guy. I. She she's a witch. She has some powers. But she 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 said, "Yeah, let's get married on a Friday the 13th. And she cast a spell on you, bro. But I mean, I'll let her t- cast me any spell she wants on me. I like her. That's cute. I'm gonna. I'll keep her around. No, she's been a good wife. And she made this like Reuben sandwich right now. Meeting. She made yes, it. Sir. Yeah, she made the meat and then she or cooked the meat, roasted it in a slow cooker, and then. Got um, bread and Swiss and some sauce. Every time I bite into it, Russian it tastes. Dressing. There we go, Russian dressing. It's Our really man. good. Isn't the mm-hmm. Reuben the one just deep fried? No, that's no, that's what Monte Cristo. Oh, okay, yeah. Now that is a sandwich. I remember back when they used to have this restaurant called Garski's over on um, um, I think it was like on Broadway. Wait, this says yeah. it has Rus- Russian dressing on a, a Reuben. What is Russian dressing? So, uh, uh, it's like orange colored. I don't, I don't know. Let me see. It looks what like Thousand what? Island. I think that's what it is. Let me look. Let me look just to make sure. I'm, a, I'm already doing that. So, uh, I love this new computer. It's phenomenal. It okay, so like- Thousand Island has pickles. Russian 
It has a spicy chili horseradish flavor. That's that would make sense. That's kind of how this tastes. It tastes spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely. I'd rather rank a bend it. Mm. <laughs> we should just have the, the rest of the episode you eating this sandwich and we'll just end mm. it with you. Mm. Mm. Details of the sandwich. Like, the texture's really good. I mean, she, <laughs> the bread is warmed up. Super tasty. I mean, it's not like old-fashioned rye. I think this is rye bread we got from... Um, German rye. It's German rye from um, H-E-B. Oh, that's fucked up, man. You got Russian dressing with German rye? Nah. Yeah, uh, it kind of—it's a whole entire world of flavors. Mm. I bet that's what you said last night too. Hey, oh, <laughs> no, but we've been—this mm, is so good. But no, I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty. I'm. I've been really blessed with her. She's she's a pretty crazy woman, which is great. Hell yeah! How great she's, is our God? But y'all don't have any kids. Mm, no, we haven't had kids yet. You, um, you sounded like you didn't know. I was like, let me check real quick. Let me go to the other room. Do we have kids? You should. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. Just I'm thinking. tax refund. Mm-hmm. We got $10,000, dog? That's crazy. Yeah, I'd have a kid just for that alone. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's because dream to have. So we're we're definitely interested. We just have to get through the initial setup. Well, if you do, if you do, I gotta ask. Name him after us, but with a PH instead of the V. Yeah, yeah. Just be like Stephen Junior, but it's spelled differently. And you'd be like, "What the fuck?" No, I'm. I mean, if you do, I'll give you like five bucks. Whatever. Five bucks? Heck yeah. Well, it looks like we're going to have another Steven. Speaking of having kids, have you? do you like horror movies? <laughs> I am terrible with horror. I like them, but I, I can't sleep afterwards. Like, I have to sleep with lights on. So the wife and I watched this movie last night. I can't remember what it was called. It was like a newer, grown-up, fucked-up version of like Goosebumps. It had like four stories. Like, Ooh, four stories. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're yeah, about. and and one of them, this dude got pregnant, and a kid just bursted out of his dick, and like, dude, I like fucked up movies, man. I love Rob Zombie movies. Like, I, I can take gore, but seeing that, I, I uh, dude, it's been a long time makes, since kinda, I've been. Makes your, it makes you easy. I was just yeah. like, I don't like this. I don't. I don't, I don't want to see a man. Yeah, like I see, like, like I don't know if you know Kevin Smith, but he's made a uh, uh, Jay and Silent Bob dude. He, uh, he's made some twisted movies. One uh, being called Tusk, where this podcaster goes to Canada and gets turned into a walrus, almost like Human Centipede style. And that I laughed at that, but then I watched this movie and I was just like, mm-hmm. it's pretty know. skilled, isn't it? He has quite a few like movies under Kevin Smith has quite a few movies under his belt. I love Kevin Smith, dude. Mm. I just uh, he, he's got a lot of podcasts. Also, I I just recently got the. Isn't he silent though? Isn't he supposed to be silent? I mean, you would think so, but apparently he's he's kind of a he's kind of a uh, um. I don't know what word I'm trying to think of, but like, if Hitler was a director. No, I don't. I, I don't. I don't know about that. Like that's a. I mean, that's kind I've of. Heard a, he, I've heard he's a very artistic dick. Like he's just like, no, you did this wrong. You're supposed to smile with on the left side, half half smile on the left side, not the right. Like, but I mean, I don't know. I'm not an artist. <laughs> but no, he, he's a, he's been doing good there. stuff, and he had Stan Lee in his movie. So. Jenny? Yeah, Mallrats. Is, uh, I think it's third movie. Oh, my head hurts like we're crazy. I've been having a headache all day today. Ooh. Same for my wife. What did y'all drink? <laughs> no, I think it's just I got allergies real bad. And I was cleaning out my garage yesterday, and I got a big face full of dust, and it, it's been making me feel like crap. Wait, so y'all's duplex has a garage? Yeah. For each side or just like one? For each side. That's where John practices his drums. 
Oh, okay. I kind of figured um, he'd be the guy to practice in the living room. No, no, no. I don't think his. Uh, I don't think his uh, lover would be appreciate that, Brad. Mm-mm. All right, I'm in. Am I in? What are you guys talking about? Oh shoot! Uh, nothing. Nothing about you and Brad uh, making out or anything like that. Or the time. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> you sound better though, John. Do I sound better? You sound a hundred times better. Both of y'all sound, sound amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, hell, I don't want to stop the recording out. to test it out, but we're just gonna roll with it because, yeah. 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 Fuck it. <laughs> so I got the, and I think it's because uh, if you'll see here, John, and if you look into the other house, uh, I have a new microphone that is really cool, and a computer. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Wowzers. So I love the computer. I, yeah, I do. I absolutely love this thing. I've been playing it nonstop, and uh, uh, slightly better with my income tax. Uh, yeah. And then how are you gonna pay for that guitar? Mm. Uh, my bonus is coming in two weeks. I he's got gonna, two income he's tax gonna tax coming. Make an OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. I feel like his OnlyFans butthole. This <laughs> is. You hey, can't hey, start hey. off with a butthole. You gotta. Build up to the bull- That's butthole. What want, like, make though. it drumming, dude. Oh yeah, no, I no. Do that. But the, it's just like a sign do that, though. Instead of a drumstick, use your 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 ween. Oh, <laughs> Smacking it up. That, that might work. Uh, well, I, I think it's the same issue as Seinfeld. You know the episode of Seinfeld where it's like the ugly naked, like this girl that's naked all the time, and she's in uh, yeah. uh, Jerry's place. And there's different muscles she uses that you're not uh, supposed to do. Opening a pickle jar. Yeah, or fixing that's a bike. Yeah, that's not what you want to do naked, yeah. Like drumming, that's one of those where you see these muscles and it's like, oh, yeah. gross. It's like, I didn't yeah, even know that part sure had not. muscles. Yeah. <laughs> but speaking of side a- I'm a, y'all got me thinking of a topic. Have y'all ever realized how many famous people are Jewish <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I think it'd be kind of proportionate to the rest of the world, right? Or no? Wait, what do you mean? Like, you know, say there's, you know, like, like 8% of the total world population is Jewish. I don't think it's that much. But I feel like 8% of the celebrities would also be Jewish, you know? Jewish kinda... people rule <laughs> comedy, man. Adam yeah, Sandler, do. Seth Rogen, um, uh... Fucking everybody in their movies, yeah. like uh, Seinfeld, yeah. Jewish. Who else? I, I had a oh, list pulled Jewish. up earlier. A lot of people are Jewish. Uh, uh, Mel Brooks, dude who made Spaceballs. Jewish. That's a favorite. Hang on, I'm about to pull up a list. Movie. But while I'm pulling up this list, y'all go to the the chat and look at the picture I just sent. And tell me if you think that looks like me. That's our Twitter profile picture for the podcast. Okay, let me see. Is it you? That's not you, is it? No. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like you, but not a lot. That's, that's him, for sure. It, it, it looks like like scarily like me. Someone sent it to me when I was still in high school. And I was like, is that me? To- the the only thing is I would wear those pants, but not the sparkly underpants. I don't know what he's yeah. got going on there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's all kind of a interesting look, I guess to say the least. And and looking at that pic, the American flag reminded me of. Um, I know Tony uh, has trained with Rampage Wrestling. I don't know if you know those. Oh, y'all played at one of their uh, yeah. events. Um, yeah, we did. We did. Was, what was it? That one guy that's the money maker, like the money guy. I mean, I what see that name? he he cheated. What was, what was his name? Benjamin Franklin's. No. Oh yeah. Name, though. That's it. Sounds Benjamin right. Benjamin Franklin was the dude's name, and he was like a a wigger. Yeah. Like he was, it was fucking hilarious. They got some good wrestlers. Dude, I was. Uh, I totally have a show? wrestling persona. Oh yeah, what Captain Confederate or no Corporal Confederate? <laughs> that's that's <laughs> I, probably not a not a fan favorite, right? Look, look, I, I I'd go in there, 
just looking like trailer trash. I, I'd I'm use my, my can of dip as a ninja star. I'd have a solo cup <laughs> with some Dr. Pepper so I could splash it in their eyes thinking it's you like really dip. You really just need an absolute ribbon, though. Yeah, so that- and, and then I would come once, lose, and then never be seen again and just show up randomly and be like, hey, I'll be back. Because the South and Florida, people yeah. and for years down the line, people will still support you. Like that's, I like that idea. Uh, yeah, I thought it was funny. That's crazy. Uh, now it's been. I think I don't know. I think that'd be kind of fun to do is do, um, do crazy wrestling stuff, dude. I, I I told them whenever I first interviewed them, I, I interviewed Eric Grayson, Axel Savage, and Alton Black with my podcasting mentor and we told them whenever we go see y'all after covid's done uh we're gonna get in the ring and um sadly uh, the mentor passed away he was literally the qui-gon to my obi-wan but, no. um, uh i still want to do that go in there and just maybe embarrass myself get beat up a little bit i don't know i'm not fit take at a all few bumps take it like lose a teeth but or hey, two. Lose, lose what do you teeth. mean? <laughs> is it a teeth or two, or is it a tooth or two, Stephen? Teeth. If it's like two teeth, two teeth, <laughs> yeah. multiple teeth. <laughs> yeah. Look, no, okay. Look, but, but Jewish comedian. It, it... Here we go. Adam you... Sandler, Joan Rivers, Sarah Silverman, John Stewart, Billy Crystal, Ben Stiller. Man, this is really funny, dude. Yeah. What, what is it yeah. like? Well, it's because the Jewish people control everything. No, not everything. I don't. I, I would say that. Like, I mean, it feels like I feel like just generally, like they just, you know, like like it's. Why just, are they so funny? Funny people. It's yeah, because funny people. Jack going Black through hard is Jewish. Like, is he really? Jonah I never would have guessed that. Yeah, I would have figured. And my wife Hill, says I'm like, racist for talking about them like I am, but. It's not a. It's not well, a race. They're funny. They're funny people. The Jews. So, I would say in general, you want to. I would say it's kind of a, one of those subjects. It's hard to really, you know, grasp onto. It's uh, more of a. I guess like I don't know. I figured, they're like they're like. Look, we got shit on for most of history. So yeah, fuck it. We'll just joke about it. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, I mean, comedy is derived from tragedy, and so I, I want to do stand up real bad. Like I, 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 I think I, I sent y'all the screenshot of that tweet where I was like, "How bad is it that I looked up how to be Jewish so that I could gain some comedic talent?" <laughs> you just gotta keep. I, I... Yeah. <laughs> I can't even I write know. jokes. Like I, I don't know. I'd go well, on stage and I would a, be like, "You gotta have a boss. You gotta have a bar mitzvah." Yeah, and then you'll be funny. Wait, so is it magic? You just like actually become Jewish, and it's just like, oh, stand up. It's not magic. It's not magic. But there's steps you gotta take, and yeah, bar mitzvahs. Your it's more of the the overall experience as you get older through you know the 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 culture you go through, and then you just kind of develop a, a better sense. Oh, I don't know, better. I don't know. It's kind of like one of those things. I don't know if you could contribute it to it. I mean, I think it's just one of those. Like even if correlation, I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. Correlation is not causation. Correlation, uh, yeah. Cause it's it's not like, it seems like there's a lot of Jewish comedians, but let's look up all the Christian comedians or atheist comedians. And let's see, I'm gonna Google that because I don't think more. that's even a thing. Christian, well, comedians. yeah, but there's a lot of comedians that happen to be Christian, but I guess they're just not labeled the same way. They have clean jokes. I don't. I don't even want to hear that. That's well, not. That's not. Not, not even necessarily. There's some Fair Jewish enough. people, uh, comedians that don't even thrive on the Jewish thing. They don't even really mention it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But so what that's what Jew- I'm saying about I like, Christian. I don't even understand. Too. Like, what what is their god? I don't ever hear about their religion. Like I hear about every other religion well, they, except same for God, that. ain't it? Hey, no Jesus. Yeah, same God, no Jesus. I mean, same God, no Jesus. But Jesus was the king of the Jews. It's a, it's a complicated. They believe in Jesus. They just don't think he's the son of Christ or yeah. 
of of God. Yeah, like they, they they realized he was here and he was on the planet, but they don't yeah. believe he resurrected. They don't believe he he uh he he's had powers and shit. You know, religion. They think he's just a normal guy. I think I could be wrong on all this. It, I don't know. Who said has it, powers? It, it, I wouldn't quite classify it as powers, but I see what you mean. It's more like... Well, they don't think he resurrected from the dead. They don't think he walked on water, right? They don't think he turned the... the, the miracles. To, uh, like, yeah, miracles. Uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I don't know very much. I don't really know enough about uh, Judaism to really I, I get a good comprehension of it. Like well, I want to read too far into, into being anti-Semitic with this conversation because I don't want to get canceled. No. I think, Mr. I potato Head got canceled. Yeah, no, it's no, now no, just no. Potato Head. I like. I, I, like I think you guys are going right by the. I think it's like right by the edge, and it's best not to jump into that. But it's not like an. I would like to learn more about Judaism. I, I think it's it's pretty interesting, and I would like to know more about the culture behind it. I think that's I kind think of I nailed it on the head, though. With my little explanation, I think that's about it. Look, I'm sure there's we'll be, be, more we'll be the it. Stephen Bros. We'll we'll become Jewish and we'll start doing double team Jewish stand up. Things. Mm, Jewish um, things. You guys can. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll support you. I'll support you guys. Sandwich. I'll support you 100, but, but not. But, uh, but let's see. But no, it's got to be me and you because we're both Stevens. I'll put glasses on. Like, it could be now. hilarious. Oh, gosh. All we gotta I... do is hoard some money. Uh, that's yeah. that kind of going into the... the, the... Look, look, oh, look, 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 Stephen Massius Stein. And I'll be Stephen that, that, Kelly Berg. Yeah. That, okay, yeah, no, that's pushing the border a little bit. Okay. Yeah, he is. You know, size too. I believe that's a big step in it. Oh, we could do that at home, though, I believe, right? Yeah. Like, that. That's something you just get a quick knife and. Do y'all watch else. Impractical Jokers? I have Impractical Jokers. John's absolute favorite show. He watches it too. He knows every single episode by heart. Do you know that Almost. Quinn does a podcast with uh, people who were in Kevin Smith movies and really good friends of Kevin Smith? No, I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, he does. Seems oddly specific. I mean, because I have a, a wide variety of oddly specific knowledge that's not useful. No, it's no just... I'm not saying your knowledge is specific. I'm saying his podcast is oddly specific if it's just for Kevin Smith friends. And no, it's uh, okay. Look, Kevin Smith, that's this it. Dude, uh, it, it's this dude Walt Flanagan. He was in the first Clerks movie and uh, runs Giant Silent Bob's Secret Stash. They're huge comic store they have and then the guy that uh have y'all seen clerks or clerks too yes i have not in a while yeah i was gonna say it's been super long i don't even remember it to be honest with you yeah well, I don't really um people there, told me it was funny but i didn't think it was all that funny i remember laughing i mean it, it's really funny dude uh they have a conversation about let's see this dude's like you know what I'm uh, like I I've, I've been having trouble sleeping at night. He's like, why? Well, I was thinking about Star Wars Episode Six, Return of the Jedi, right? So, for Episode Four, they blow up the Death Star, kill millions of people, right? Whatever. Okay. Episode Six, when they blow up the Death Star, it's not even halfway built, right? So yeah. they don't just kill the the empire. There's there's got to be construction workers, plumbers, uh, and all that. Like, it, yeah. yeah. It, it's really funny. I oh. highly recommend watching it just because of their conversation thought process. It's really fucking funny. I was going to say, it's because, yeah, imagine how many, uh, even then, I mean, not everybody was evil in the Death Star. I'm sure there were food workers, uh, trash uh, people. They just um, have like a cafeteria the like at college. They're just uh, like... <laughs> but I think those would be evil people working in those cafeterias. They're not. Well, they're just they're not drafted. Part. There's only one... <laughs> They're just it's not, like, it's not like you're taking the bus down the street to work at your job. They're on a fucking Death Star. Like I think it'd be soldiers, it has uh, to be. maintaining soldiers. You can't run a Death Star without having some ordinary people. Like you'd have to have like you think food, you have to have somewhere for them to shit. There's got to be plumbers, and a plumber's not gonna care about Jedi or 
controlling the galaxy. He's not evil. There's no He's evil. Just like, Look, I'm making somewhere for you to take a dump. Exactly. How do you know? Here's my thing. How do you know it wasn't an evil person that got trained to be a plumber? <laughs> an evil plumber? Like he's gone around just killing like cats. Right. Okay, so say when you join the ranks, you have to take a like a IQ test, and then they stick you where they fill your. You know what I'm saying? What if he's joined the the the, the he joined the what is it the the Empire Strike? What is what is it? It's called? just the Empire. The Empire. The Empire. Yeah. He wanted to join him, but he fucking did really bad on his test scores, and now he's just a plumber. They didn't give him what? a gun. Wait, so, you know, plumbing is pretty difficult. I think plumbing is probably more difficult than uh, shooting a weapon. Like but it's whatever, whatever the case is, he didn't qualify to be a soldier, so they stuck him as a plumber. That's what and I'm I, saying. I Luke wanted you, to join the Empire. He he was talking about his buddies went to like the Empire Training Academy or whatever, and he wanted to do yeah. that. But then stormtroopers killed his family. Uh, whatever, you know the story. Yeah. yeah. So I was gonna say this. I mean, in general, like, are they like? But okay, what about this? If you, I, I, I can't imagine like your plumber just going around. Picking up cats, putting them in a bag, and just beating the crap out of them, and just shaking the bags. Is that wait, evil? Wait, wait, hold up. Do no, that again. What did you say? Evil. That's a different that's... type of evil. Steven's taking it in a different direction. He's saying an I'm... evil plumber, but why would a plumber be, be shaking cats in a bag? That's, that's what I'm saying. An evil person would do. But yeah, there's yeah. levels of evil, and maybe they're like, oh, yeah, I believe in this Sith Lord dude, and I want him to, you know, but he was work for him. They just know him as Emperor Palpatine. They don't know he's a Sith Lord. Like, they don't, they know. He's an elected official that's like, hey, this guy is pretty cool. I really they like him. To die. Nobody thought no, he was cool. Did you see his face? Well, no, they're probably thinking, that's like, crazy. oh, he was, he was terribly injured by. A Jedi, terrible, like, oh, the propaganda is like, oh, these Jedis hurt my face and try to destroy freedom. And so hey, I'm coming back. I'm going to build a wall. I'm going to build a Death Star. And you know what? I just want to live my life how I live my life. Look, and if we're going to get into this like this, the Jedi and and the Rebellion were in the wrong. They were. They were terrorists. The Jedi were like an uh, unrelenting police. They're like, we want to bring balance to the Force, but we've got a thousand Jedi, and we know of one person on the dark side. But we want to bring balance, you know? Well, I was going to say... I was going to say... Didn't didn't Darth Vader kill a bunch of kids? He did, but it wasn't like he was trying to kill a bunch of kids. He just went in to kill them before they became Jedi. Like he had to he, kill he the was, young. He was, the Jedi's um, are like, yo, I got to do this. Not possessed. He, he, I guess, was in between possessed and under the influence. But he fulfilled his prophecy. He brought balance to the Force. And he, he killed a bunch of kids. And see, that's what I'm saying. You got to kill kids to be able to be a part of the Death Star. No, that's just joking there. But there, you know who does a really good video about this? Uh, I don't know if you guys... Uh, John... Hates Matt Pat. He hates him. More anything, but that film, uh, theory? film theory people. They they did a great thing about like what it actually did to the economy. Like they figured out what it would do to the economy of the empire. Because I mean, destroying the Death Star and overthrowing their leader. Like what's going to happen to all the 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 people underneath the empire's control? Like some, like other countries, they don't care if he's an evil death lord. He was providing stability in their economy. He was providing stability in their lives and prote- provide protection and all that with the like everyday life people. And so it kind of goes into like him, like technically, stormtroopers were like cops. They they were yeah. like doing security. The yeah. rebellions, like, look, I don't like what y'all are doing, and they killed a million people. Just because they didn't like it, they're like, "No, dark side, get out of here." I mean, as they did blow, like the Empire did blow up Alteron. So, I mean, that that that's one bad apple out of a whole tree. 
And I mean, who needs to really? Alteron was not that great if it got, if if it was blown up so early. So I see that. Look, so I was trying to look up some of the actors from uh, the first Star Wars, and I stumbled across a website, uh, JewOrNotJew.com. <laughs> it's a I real thing. I feel like I'm having... Jewish or not. I feel like you shouldn't have that on your browser history. That's one of those that you should not. If they're looking for, oh, hey, where was some uh, hate crime done? Oh, let's see who's access Jew or not Jew. Com. I'm not, uh, not going to do a hate crime, man. There's, there's nothing wrong with wanting to know if your favorite actor is Jewish or not. They, but I, I feel like the people who made this website are more in the wrong than I am. They have a Jew score. Yeah. <laughs> that I... I that is bad. I'm not gonna say that. It's like, but it's more like uh, two wrongs do not make a right in this situation. But look at dude. Walt Disney was anti-Semitic, and see where Disney's at. So hmm. yeah, uh, that that is absolutely true. You that just got logic. I did. I feel like I just got logic, and I feel terrible about that. It makes but, yeah, no, I'm not saying it's right. I just um. I no, really, no, no. I really no, want to be a stand-up comedian, man. Uh, it doesn't have to be right to be funny. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Uh, what is it? Like, uh, a lot of people, they, they make a good career on it. Uh, what is it? Um, I mean, South Park itself. I mean, and Both family. of those yeah. creators, Trey Parker, Matt Stone, guess what they are? What are they? Jewish. Oh, good. Jewish. I would feel kind of uncomfortable if they weren't Jewish. Like, See, the joke anti-Semitic. They- no, no, no. The jokes they were making, like on family on uh, on South Park, I'd feel uncomfortable if they were just you know two people who weren't Jewish making such hardcore jokes about Judaism. I feel like that's kind of rough. Like, oh hey, because my like it's just kind of like a rough situation. It's like Honestly, oh, yeah, that's like Jewish, the so least. That's like the least oh. made fun of. Oh, well, yeah, because Kyle. So yeah, they do make fun of Jews a lot. Yeah. But that's just Cartman. I feel like there, there's an episode where they do like what is it like the Justice Friends, and it's all the religious leaders, and then they have uh, Muhammad blacked out because oh yeah, wherever he is from, got pissed. Because they had him in there one time, and they're like, "Dude, we're gonna bomb you if you do that again." So they yeah. brought him back. Well, I think it's—I have... uh, don't think you're supposed to in anywhere in any form. Are you supposed to depict Muhammad? Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah, but even say if you were a uh, uh, Muslim, you can have a picture of Muhammad in your house. That's not. This is so the rules. rules. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to picturalize this figure. Religion yeah. is so what, weird, is, dude. Is what is what that sin is, is or what the problem is. And I can see that, like that. And they're just, you know, I, I can see where they don't want that in their media for sure. Dude, those dudes don't care. They just did it for a joke. the The creators of yeah. South Park once went to an award ceremony. I don't know if it's Oscars or Grammys or whatever, and they went tripping on acid and dressed as women. And people were just like, so oh, how do you, how, like, like, how's it going? And what's going on? They're just like, oh, we're just so glad to be here. That's all they would say. They just. Uh, it kind of reminds me of something, though. Like, I believe you should be allowed to. Like, why is that such an odd thing as guys dressing like women? I feel like you should be allowed to dress like a woman if you want. You can nowadays. I mean, yeah, about that. no, for sure. But, um. But I feel like there's still stereotypes to it. Like, oh, hey, you're dressed like a woman. You have to be gay. Like, you shouldn't have to be gay to dress like a woman. I think you should be free to do what... I feel like that shouldn't be, like, a thing. I shouldn't... I feel like you shouldn't have to be... Well, no, it's uh, not a thing. That happened back in, the like, the early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, you don't have to be gay to dress like a girl. I know. That's all I'm saying. Like, you You shouldn't have have nice legs. That's true. You cannot cannot cross-dress if you don't have nice legs. I mean... I mean, I I would do it, but I'm not gonna shave my fucking legs, dude. Come on, get out. Of here. You know how long that would take? I'll be honest with you. Um, I have the shoulders and the legs for being a woman. Like honestly, <laughs> like dressed I was up as a woman. Say you're on this. You're on this uh, soapbox talking about it. I bet you have a dress in your closet. 
And then I, we go. And I might have one, but that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I mean, I, I wore this one dress that, oh my <laughs> God, made me pop. Like, seriously, if I, I mean, it was fantastic. And I'm okay with that. I'm not, like, going to wear a dress all the time. And I'm not just going to go around, like, sucking dick. I just like, I just thinking, hey, look. At least not at the same time, right? Yeah, not the same time. Yeah, you definitely wear jeans whenever you go SMD. You can suck dick and you can wear a dress, but just don't do it, you know, don't do it at the same time. That's weird. I mean, unless you're getting paid for it. And that's my thing. I feel like you could make a lot of money sucking dick. <laughs> and I mean, like, I I, I, I kind of like that whole OnlyFans thing. You're like, imagine how much money you get. You have two hands, two feet. That's four appendages that you can be jerking guys off with. You have five, four guys. Takes, what, two minutes at good speed? I mean, I'm sure it's going to be like, you know, it's going to take some time to get practice at it. But once you get really good, you can jerk well, off a guy. We've been practicing our own whole uh, life. I would say two minutes jerking off four guys at one time with your feet and your hands, and that's twenty bucks a person. You just made eighty dollars. Dude, in you're two low ball in there, man. Twenty bucks. You you got to have more confidence than that. Well, you you you're not gonna like the problem hey, is you're stepping in a room and you're getting jerked off by one guy that's jerking off three other guys at the same time. You can't the really. Point is fair. I feel like you know that's a discount you you get with that type of experience if you're not gonna not gonna be at least get get a little privacy. Yeah, I mean, we'll have, like, a, little, we'll have a little privacy. Twenty like, bucks, yeah. twenty bucks for three other guys, or eighty bucks in you, by yourself, yeah. one or the other. You get all the feet and the hands, but I'm just saying, like, imagine how much money you can make. You could get a whole day's like you can get eighty bucks per session. You can get like Even, that's 10. the same thing as saying like, oh, I'm just everybody has address markers. I'm just gonna go paint address markers. Everybody needs them. Everybody. It's not about. It's about the clientele. Spades, if you're gonna make it eighty mi- eighty bucks every two minutes, okay. Do you know more than four guys that would pay to have you jerk them off? That's the problem. But let me look on Facebook. I feel like I can find I can find enough clients. I'm not that afraid. I'm gonna say that. Like there's there's gotta be that many like I mean it's not like it's a it's not like address markers like you would need twenty five clients just to make five hundred bucks. Dude, look at look, do y'all remember uh, have y'all ever heard of Backpage? Yeah, I remember uh, that. Back it in was the good like old days. The, uh, the, um, Prostitution Craigslist, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. That that's how they made yeah. their money. It, it, I don't if know a girl can go on money. there, yeah. if a girl can go on there and post an ad and say, her description it said, um, she's a human water slide. Then you can <laughs> do what you want to do, dog. Yeah, so I, I phased out for a second. Y'all there? Yeah. yeah. Look. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I wish we could post this on video on like a video chat. We're gonna have to get into that eventually, so y'all know. I hope y'all are comfortable showing. I'm not very. Uh, I'm a uh, kind of a. Well, it's a back page history. What do we get no, into? No, 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 I, no, I no, no, no. For a I just show. I I just um shared a uh, video that is related to what y'all were just going on and on about that. Back page. <laughs> no. Oh. The, back- um. Uh, taking four peens at once for money. Oh, cool. yeah, yeah. yeah. Steven special. I'm, and if you want a, this revolutionary idea, oh my god, what to be a thing? Then I'm willing to admit it. It's my my idea. Yeah, five. And I mean, if you're really open up to it, you also have a mouth, and you just go. But I feel like you at that point you wouldn't be able to do focus. That's why I showed I feel this like video. Out a very important hole as well, Stephen. <laughs> no, no, that's for poop there's only. Another, there's, there's another hole. There's, no, that. there's another wall. Exit Is only. Are we talking making money? Or are we talking making money? Are that trying, hole. Are you trying to maximize your profits, or are you trying to be poor your whole life? What are you doing here? My <laughs> thing is, my thing is, with that hole. There's never a point when you can absolutely be certain that that hole is clean. I don't mind. Is I'm willing to admit it. 
I like very well, but I'm always yeah, learning new techniques. You seem like the type of guy right. that like nares your b hole. Okay, well, first of all, you don't stick your dick in that hole if you're concerned about it being clean. First of all, I'm just saying, like, so, I don't, I don't necessarily get your point here, Steven. You might not, but the guy, whatever. Whatever individual sticking his dick in that is, it's especially sticking his dick in you. It's probably, probably not too <laughs> finicky about where he's sticking his dick. Like, you know? oh god, it's like there's so much poo. I really and the other four guys around me, I really don't appreciate this. I wish he was more clean. I'm gonna give this a bad Yelp review. What <laughs> stop? <laughs> <laughs> what? I have a great idea for. A- business y'all want to hear it for is it just just one second before you go into that i'm gonna say for if anybody does ever listen to this our first two episodes ended up just being about one division <laughs> and <Right. y'all... laughs> i can't and now yeah. we're talking about prostitution yeah yeah this has uh been one for the books man <laughs> is Anyways, it prostitution so... though no, no, wait, yeah, no, no, wait. Your holes? Be- before your business you idea, tell me, is sucking your own peen gay? It is. Masturbation. No, it's gay. No, it's not gay. It's impossible. Who can suck their own peen? It, it, Who can uh, do no, that? We're not, we're not talking about like, <laughs> like actual <laughs> physics or anything. We're talking about the idea. <laughs> The physical, okay. We're just like theoretically, I feel like, I feel like, uh, what is, what is, what do, what's the phrase people say when it doesn't matter because it's hypothetical and it can never be real? Well, look, <laughs> dude, I, back in the day, I used to, when, when I would go I to parties to all the guy. time, I would ask people this and I would start huge rants about it, right? And then <laughs> mainly people would say it's gay. But there's one dude I remember who said, no, it, 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 it's, it's definitely gay because it doesn't feel like you're getting it done to you. It feels like you're doing the action. Okay, so transfer the logic. So it's gay when you're jacking off. That, jacking but that's off not that, that's not the same thing. Like, I mean, w- uh, like, do you put one in your hand and one in your mouth in the same boat? <laughs> I don't know. I would say in general, like okay, even. So, hey, y'all, give me two seconds. I gotta close this door so my daughter doesn't hear. You good? But here's the, here's the kicker, though. Here's the kicker, though. So there's there's four possibilities in this, right? Okay, when, when you're thinking about it, and really, if you take away all social construct, you just think of what it is. Okay, so you're either touching your own dick, sucking your own dick. Touching someone else's dick and sucking someone else's dick. Those are the four options. If touching your own dick isn't gay, but touching someone else's dick is gay, then how is yeah. sucking your own dick not gay? Look, you know look, what look. T- okay. Like, does that make sense? I feel like hand we're not going to get an answer to this until we hand, start sucking dick. In the history of America, hand contact on your peen is verified masturbation. <laughs> but a D in the mouth, I don't know, man. Like it sounds okay, well, like transfer it, did it I... over to someone else. Transfer it over to someone else. If you were to wank someone else off, is that masturbation still? No, that's gay. No, because that's masturbation gay, right? is a self action. It's okay. not. It's not a. Okay. Well, what is sticking your wang in your mouth? Isn't that a self action? I mean, you don't think it would feel good. No, I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like my teeth would just ruin the whole experience. I feel like I have too well, many teeth. Like you I don't can't use teeth. Well, well I mean, I mean feel like it, it's got to be a learning experience because whenever you, you first did, whenever you first did the deed, you didn't know how to do it, but eventually no, you learned. Still it. have questions. Still have questions. Exactly. I still don't think it's gay. That's all I'm saying. I don't think it's. Gay. I think. I don't think it's gay because you don't consider master. If when you touch yourself, it's not gay. But when you touch someone else, it is gay. So it's the same thing. If you blow yourself, it's not gay. But if you blow <laughs> someone else, yeah, that's that's kind of gay. I don't, well, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter because aren't we all a little gay? Anyways, it goes. A little bit. A Wait, how? A little bit. Everybody. A little bit. Everybody's. Everybody's. Everybody. 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 
little you bit. You put on Tony Ragnarok and you watch Chris Hemsworth. Everybody's a little gay. Everybody's a little. Uh, maybe a lot of little gay. gay. Maybe a lot of gay. Maybe yeah. Maybe just a lot of gay. But depending. I mean. You can't look like that, yeah. but yeah, you can't look like that and not expect it. Like, it's see, at, fir- at first I was like getting offended by what y'all are saying, but then I think our first episode I was sitting there saying like, "Oh, I've got a uh, a man crush on Harrison Ford, man crush on who, do, wh- whoever." I said I can't remember now. Yeah, but Har- think- Harrison Ford's a very handsome dude. He is. Uh, he's actually very old now, and I don't really think he's that handsome. I think well, he's kind of you, gross, need, yeah. you need to leave this chat because you're wrong. I wouldn't want to see him naked. And I would definitely yeah. let him help me S my own D. I would not. <laughs> I would not enjoy that. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying it for the comedic. You're forever. wrong. Uh, you would have sure, to comedic. Sure. 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 No, I just want to hear my It's like, sure. I mean, you know, it's just. I'm not gonna actually suck some dude's dick, and if Harrison Ford came, I would suck his dick, maybe. I would suck his dick, maybe. But I would just kiss it. Leave it, you know, possibility. You know, leave it in there. In my eyes, oh, whose mouth was open? I'm not a fucking. I'm not a fortune teller. I couldn't tell you if what was gonna, what would happen. You know what I'm saying? It just things happen. Life happens. Yeah. yeah. Life is strange, man. Life is beautiful. And so is his dick. Whoa. I don't know. Wait, who's? All right, what's the next topic? <laughs> what is the next topic? Just, just, just so we're I clarified. Just his bullshit. We're going to have to wrap up like in 30 minutes or so. So 9 <laughs> o'clock, we got to be done. But I think we're, we're having some good internet uh, content here. Yeah. I think everything we discuss has been very important. So uh, what about uh, WandaVision? Let's talk about that, the newest episode. Um, how phenomenal... Well, I feel like this episode, of all the episodes, was the worst episode so far, but still a really good episode. No, it wasn't. I, it was... I, I, think it was, I think it was the least entertaining, for sure, but it had to happen. It had to happen. It, we needed that story. We needed to see all that stuff. It, it was it was definitely the most answer filled one. I got and yeah, when you, so emotional during this one. <laughs> yeah, I remember you say, like crying it's because it's like no no don't say crying. For one, I was leaking awesomeness. If anything, but I shed a tear just because of like I didn't realize that she got her powers from the same thing that gave Viz life. Aw, yeah, oh, yeah. And it's that that's that's a better love story than Twilight. No, you shut your dirty whore mouth. Twilight is the most phenomenal love story there ever ever will ever be. And I'll be honest, I'll take that to the fucking grave. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, I did read all four of the books in high school, so whatever. I did too. I actually did too. So I feel kind so, of. So, uh, where where we left off on WandaVision, though, is uh, it looks like Agatha's got the kids. John was the most into. Um, look, look, scroll back up in the chat, John. You see uh, the uh, the Facebook Hold up. screenshot. Hold up, one second. I don't know how to work this thing. I ain't got the chat no more, dude. It went somewhere. It's uh, it looked good. Click, click there. Look, do you see there? Click there. Click right Wait, there. Where? Right there. Look, do you see right there? Wait, are y'all together? Dude, or are you just being a smart ass? No, me and Dick. Uh, hold up. Shouldn't it be under my apps that are w- open? Look, would it be easier if I just sent it to Messenger again? Yeah, yeah. do that real okay. quick. Because it was okay. open, but then I switch it over, and now it just shows our pictures on Discord. Oh, God. You know I don't know how to work this shit. Hang on, I gotta get my phone. <laughs> this is a very important picture. Someone uh, uh, released a little pic clip from episode 9. And it's got a very fantastic four feel to it. <laughs> the kids and Wanda and Vision. Yeah, I saw that. No, right, let's see. Here's what's going to happen, right? Vision's going to show up. The first couple of minutes, Vision's going to show see, up. See, this like, isn't fair the because you've read the books. No, 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 check it out. I'm taking this just from what this photo I'm seeing and what I already thought. This photo you just shared, Okay. So they're all, like, together, and they're all like, okay, let's fight, right? They're like, oh, let's beat these bad guys. 
That little scene is going to happen within minutes of the episode. And there's no And as soon as the kids guys. go over and they're ready to fight Agatha, the kids are going to be ready to fight, Agatha's going to switch it around. And she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, your kids aren't real. <laughs> Make them disappear. No, no. no. Oh, I, I and think then the kids are real. And I don't think Agatha's... Uh, she's, she's an anti-hero. And I'm very disappointed that the the big uh, villain so far was the human made Vision. I feel like that well, that, and we still don't know about Agatha. We don't know what what her total intentions are. I still think she's working for Ralph or Mephisto. Look, in all I still uh, think all the, the research I've done, man. They said the yeah. big the big villain cameo was going to be in this episode. So, what, there was no eight? Mephisto. It's probably the rabbit, though, because I've never seen a rabbit eat a bird. I've seen yeah, that's, that's rabbit. Heard. Actually, rabbits are notorious for bird eating. Like, they will no, eat. No, they're not. Just like, no, they're not. Just, no, they're not. Uh, yeah, because uh, fish don't eat barbecue. Mm. That's a very yeah. anti-Semitic statement, dog. No, rabbits eat Jews. bird. Like, they do. They, yeah, they eat birds. I've seen it. No, I haven't, but I assume in my dreams I have seen it. That, that's my really nightmares. kinky. I wouldn't tell your wife that. I um, still think, okay, right now I think Agatha's pinned up because we, we see that end reaction when she was outside with the kids. I feel like Agatha's more like a chaotic neutral, and she she came to town just to figure out what's going on with this power and how, how can she learn from it, how can she get it. And then after interviewing Wanda, taking her through all the flashbacks, Agatha's like, holy shit. And she didn't steal it. Hold up. It was all a lie. Hold up. No, no, no. But but, but Agatha's like, holy shit. Hold up. I was curious what was going on here. But you're the Scarlet Witch. I have to put you down now. Now Agatha's in a position she feels like she's got to, like, for the benefit of the world, hey, I didn't realize it before. But you're a danger, Wanda. And so Agatha is kind of the anti-hero. She's not necessarily a bad guy right now. She was she was originally motivated for selfish needs to find out about this magic. And she said that. She said she came and showed up. The whole show, that whole episode, she was quizzing her. How did you do this? How did you do this? They took a look at her past. How did you do this? How did you do this? When Agatha finally adds up all the pieces, Agatha is legit scared. And now only sees Wanda as a legitimate threat that needs to be put down for the sake of the whole planet. Or she's going to drain she, her powers like she did her own mother. She, that, that could be the case too, but I, I think from the looks of it and from, from Agatha's lo- closing lines, I feel like she's more terrified of What was Wanda. the closing line? You're, you're the Scarlet uh, Witch. J- j- just, just that, yeah, yeah, you're the Scarlet Witch. I, so you know, I put I it together, that. you're the Scarlet Witch. And so I feel I feel we could still see Agatha in like a, like you said an anti hero light. She eventually I think she bad. might be the villain in after what coming. she did to her mama and to her friends. Mm. No, she sir. Had to survive, and that was three hundred years ago. Like she could be a different person now. She might not be on that same crusade. She might just be trying to work up her magic. And like I said, I think that's what brought her there. But then when she figured it out, she's like, nope, bitch, you got to die. I'm about to fight you because you're then, a danger. But then think about uh, in last week's episode, in the basement, you see the book. It didn't address that. Oh, yeah, they that. didn't even mention right? that. that yeah. book I bet you they will is, this week. From what I hear in research, I'm sure you know more, from Dr. Strange's li- library. People say that that book is the one that can summon the devil. Yeah, the dark hold, I believe, is what it's is what you were saying it is. And also, I saw a screenshot of Doctor Strange when he's in the Ancient Ones like place, and there's all these books on the wall. It didn't. There's I didn't, one. I there's saw one that. missing. Oh, and they're saying missing? this is the one that's missing. Yeah, they're saying this is that one book that was missing from that Doctor. And it was such a small little thing. It was just in the there's background. There's no way like that's right. Wall. because And that, there's books. There's all these books. And they're all in like a perfect grid. But then there's one book missing. And nobody and, noticed because like all of those magicians were alive. Like, No, I'm sure they did notice. But maybe Agatha being such a powerful witch, she put some type of spell so they couldn't track her. 
What is the uh, what is it? What was the uh, and the main- that could that could be a mystery? One of the wizards in Doctor Strange's things they're working on, but it's not a you know maybe they're trying to find it. They just what about the that one woman like the what was it the bald woman in Doctor Strange? Wouldn't she be able to sense she Agatha and kill like Agatha before she caused trouble? Unless Agatha has an appropriate spell. I mean, she did have runes in the basement where Wanda couldn't yeah. do magic. I mean, Agatha is, is uh, and she killed a dog. Three hundred years old witch. She could very well have found yeah. a spell where the ancient one couldn't have tracked her. Yeah, that's true. Wait, real quick, Agatha, the actress. It, it, have y'all seen Step Brothers? <clears throat> yeah, she's yeah. It's the same girl, Catherine Hahn. Yeah, Catherine Hahn. What is her name? I think she's so good. And see, I, I, I was, I was confused. I was kind of thinking she was Stifler's mom from American Pie, or the one from Step Brothers. It, can you see her naked online? I'm not looking, but I'm pretty I'm sure looking. if you actually specifically Google something, Stifler's you can find was. whatever. Let's see here. I see her right here. She's. How, what other movies has she been in? She's Step super brother. famous. Step brothers. I bet you she's oh, Jewish. Shit. And you want to know why? God. The nose. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, what was her name? Yeah. Say that away from Catherine there. Catherine Hahn. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Google it on I'm the sure website. Just... Uh, she's in my favorite movie. movie. She's in my absolute favorite movie. Hotel. No. Hotel Transylvania 3. Which Quigley Down Under is one of my top movies, but Hotel Transylvania three. That's not her name. Catherine Hahn, Dean for- Martin's ex-wife. She's also her in name uh, is Catherine. Hold up, I'll type it in right now. Hold up, no, it, it's Catherine Hahn. H A H N. I'm looking her up right now. Yeah, and Hon, I've got Hahn. Sorry, how do you spell Catherine? I got a, a uh, A and a Y. No, no, no. It's the front and a Y. No, hers is with a C. Hers is with a C. No, it's not. I'm looking at it right here. I'm looking at it right here. A-A-T-H-R-Y-N. And then no, it's, is H-A-H-N. No, nah, it's got that C with the little extra marks on it. Like the marks with the That's X. K. Are you sure? Okay, spell She's it out bad for me real moms. Quick. She's in a bad mom's Christmas. K-A- She's in how to lose a guy in ten days. She that was a good movie. Oh, do you guys remember? So me and John, when we were little, we went to go see our first driving movie, and how to lose a guy in ten days was one of those first movies we saw. You remember that? She's in the where? Where are the Millers? She's the the isn't she? Yeah, she's married to uh, uh the dude who plays Ron Swanson in Parks and Rec. I mean, yeah. Well, okay, she in the live for me because I'm still on this website and I want to see. K A T H K A T H K A T H R Y N. No E. Catherine. No, no. E. Y. K and Y. Catherine with a K and a Y. K Y Kelly. Think of it like that. K A T H R N Y. No R Y N. R Y N. Google. It should crack it. And then what's the last? Yeah. Name? H A H N. H A H N. Yeah. But I'm not on Google. I'm on the. Uh... Okay, so she's not on this website. Well, she's really good. She's a good actress. I, I, she's got... I like her. I wouldn't mind her being the main bad guy. I wouldn't mind her being real powerful and being a fight for Wanda. There's no way. But I also, I just, also, I just, who the fuck is Ralph? Ralph has got to be someone. Uh, Ralph she said she met her. She said she met her husband on June second. On the first episode, their anniversary was June second, and that happened to be the Salem witch trials date. Also, June. Uh, let's look up June second real quick. I don't even Mark. remember Ralph. Ralph, hey. that's her husband. That's from the first episode. Yeah. No, it's from like every episode she mentions with Ralph. Does she? Uh, She's Catholic. once, 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 one ep- once an episode. She'll mention Ralph. Ralph likes the lavender. Or Ralph, Ralph sprays this at night when when she was spraying that lavender on the babies. 
Ralph Ralph sprays this on me at night, but he can't tame this Capricorn or whatever the fuck she says. That's a rape. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember that at all. That sounds so rapey there. He sprays this on me at night. Sprays it on me. Okay, I pulled, up his, I pulled up his Wikipedia page. So Ralph's, Ralph's Wikipedia page. Okay, so mother is... Well, it doesn't say who his mother is. It says his wife is Agatha Harkness, and it uh, looks like mother-in-law is Eva Nora Harkness, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Uh, he is only mentioned in season one. He's mentioned in We Interrupt This Program. Uh, and then the multiple... I see what you're talking about. Yeah, multiple times he's mentioned. What I want to know is in the market. Every episode. Oh, yeah, I'm really excited to see that, too. I guess they just didn't have time to show us any. Because you remember uh, on Deadpool 1, whenever Gina Carano does the the superhero landing, and he's like, oh, superhero landing. Yeah. That's how I felt whenever she did that. Yeah. The blue blast came out and everything. Oh, I have one quick little theory about it all. What if... Because this is really, besides Spider-Man, this is really the only thing we've seen after Endgame. What if the blip, that's what they call it, right? Yeah. B-L-I-B-B, the blip. B-L-I-P. What if that is what caused mutants? And it's just like a, a side effect that Tony Stark didn't really realize when he snapped them back. And, and Monica didn't get her powers from going through the hex. No, she, she did. Her powers from the blip, and no. they're just now they're just now kind of showing. No, because why it would it had adverse effects? So why would it rewrite her DNA? Half of, half well, how do we know that wasn't the things. first test? How do and then the second the time it was rewrote. It's like the first time. Oh wait, she went in there. She was just a normal person, and then she, even when she was Did out of the they, out of the egg, know they tested her. Well, no, no, they did a lot. Of, yeah, because she keeps saying, "Hey." You know, you're getting all these tests, da 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 da. And I hate being tested, da 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 da. And da 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 da. And then she just has normal powers. And then, and normal, not powers, but normalness. And then it isn't until, um, like, it isn't until the second time she goes through it and it alters her DNA the one third time. more time. Yeah. And so that's what gets okay. her that. Well, I am saying there's a little bit of assumption. A little, 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 little bit of assumption. So. I don't, I don't know. What if she took that DNA test before she went there and her DNA was already jumble jumble? And then she found out she's a baby daddy. But um, what I'm saying is, okay, Agatha has purple colors. Wanda red. Monica blue. My co-worker is saying if I've noticed green, I think. Or Doctor Strange? Are you, are you gonna bring up Infinity Stones? No, it, no, no. In, in the show, like, have yeah. you ever seen some green colors from no, someone? No, I have yet. I have yet to see green. But I know uh, Doctor okay. Strange so, is magic. So he's just sometimes fucking green. colorblind, then. And I knew no. Monica was gonna be something blue because if y'all remember the first episode she was in, whenever she helped birth the babies, there was so much blue. I, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I was like, dude, her eyes are blue. Her dress is blue. Like, they're, I, I love the way they're doing this. Like, it's yeah, it's beautiful. Well, I mean, man. it seems like she's going to be partnering up with Captain Marvel. I mean, I think she's going to be well, more Well, they were already two. friends anyway. Yeah. I think, and honestly, I, I, I would say she is a far better actor in Captain Marvel than she was. Is she the same actress that was in Captain Marvel, though? Like, did they just... Oh, I believe There's a little girl in Captain Marvel. No, no, no. This is her first role. Also, Captain Marvel, Stan Lee's, um, what is it called? Appearance, I guess. He's reading the Mallrats script. That's Kevin Smith movie he was in. I love it. Ah. They, they they went so in depth that like the timing of when that movie came out, like it's crazy, man. Let me look and see. I thought that she was. Uh, let's see here, Marie. Uh, okay, no, yeah. No, dude, she's like six years old in the in the Captain Marvel movie. The Captain Marvel movie? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, she's like she's like eight or she's under ten years. She's a little girl. Yeah. There's no way she grew up in within that period two of time. Years. Yeah, it's been two years since they made yeah. it. Oh, and that's sad. Then, uh 
Dude, yeah, Blood this is the first time we're seeing that actress as Monica. Yeah, as the, yeah, that makes sense. I guess I kind of got the times all mixed up. But, I mean, honestly... It, it took place in the 90s. It wasn't filmed in the 90s, you know? Honestly, Monica no, Rambo... It totally was filmed in the 90s. You're, you're wrong on that one. Right. They had Blockbuster, They played man. that Come ball on. game. And when I seen it in theaters, some kid was like, what's Blockbuster? And my heart broke. And there's still a lot of There's, there's one still a lot in Oregon. There's also one in Alaska, too. Well, there's one. And they don't do well. They don't Look, make very much y'all, money. Y'all both know Juan Blanc- Blancas? I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Juan? The singer, God of... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he always says it should have been Cap instead of Tony. Uh, no... No, no, no. Tony made. I don't think Cap. I don't think Cap is as selfless as Tony. And yeah, what do you mean? Tie, he, Tony... he was able to wield Mjolnir. Yeah, yeah. but I, I like how they do it. It's like you know, as it goes on, it shows that he's willing to sacrifice himself. At the start, he was so you know self-centered. You never would have guessed it. But as he's developed over these years, his personality has grown. His experiences have made him grow. And it's at this point you can see that now he has things that he considers that are important. And it's like, hey, I'm willing to sacrifice everything for it, and that's, I think that's really pretty. I like like they it builds up. It's a Dude, even, even after Civil War, where he finds out Cap's best friend killed his parents, and then Cap and said best friend beat the living crap out of him. That's kind of an asshole thing, yeah, uh, for Cap to do. It's like, hey, uh, I'm gonna beat you up after my best friend just killed your mom and dad, like. I, I know just, you just found that out. It's been years yeah. and years, but they're it's like, like you just found that out. I'm gonna beat you. You gotta understand too. They're all. He's got to defend Bucky because even though Cat, you know, if Iron Man's gonna because they're Brooklyn gonna, dogs, man. Yeah, well, too, he knows that it's not really Bucky's fault, but Iron Man ain't stopping the. Iron Man ain't stopping the. You know, to ask. Dude, those they did him dirty, man. Come on. But yeah, no, I think it's always in Tony's personality. That's why he'll always win. And that's why he beat Thanos. It's, Dude, he, he's, that, he's, the you're Civil not going to beat him because he's going he's gonna to kill himself trying to defeat The Civil War him. ending fight is the best one out of all of them. The way that good. they do him, like watching Cap just... <laughs> like two dudes... One has a metal arm, whatever, and they're just like throwing this shield back and forth, beating this dude in a metal suit. Yeah. They, d- dude, you know, just uh, because they're like, like, yeah, he did kill your parents, but get over it. <laughs> get over There's it. Some great fight scenes in Age of Ultron too. I just rewatched that one, like when they're in the market and Crossbones and Black Widow are fighting. And have you ever watched the, the Office? Tank. Yes. Okay, do you I remember love- the boss that came in after Michael that wore glasses, had kind of long hair? Yeah. That's the dude who does Ultron's voice. No. Yeah, for real. I don't remember it. I don't know what we're talking about. Ultron, I don't know either, but I'm going to look it up. I'll send you all a picture <laughs> I later. I like Ultron. I like Ultron. I wish he'd come back because he was just such a cool... I like that movie a lot. It was really good. But the best fight scene is... Captain America Winter Soldier when they first come across the Winter Soldier. And like Black Widow fucking fights him for a little bit and fucking and Cap fights him for a little bit. Tony fights him a little bit. But Tony ain't got his armor. We're just gonna have to agree to disagree, man, because Captain America Winter Soldier is the best standalone Marvel. No, that's silly. Get out of here, John. We all stand alone. We're not counting any Avengers. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's standalone Marvel movie. Which one's better? Uh, uh, One Division. One Division is not a movie, Steven. Uh, let me give give me a second. Let me think. I I don't remember any of the other ones. Let me think. There's not. There's not. Uh, I'd say original Ant Man. Right. Which one? Civil War. No. Civil yeah. War. It's yeah. Very good. Civil War is very. Good. Uh, what else? Right uh, Ant Man and the. The Wasp, that's probably one of my favorites. No, like, Ant-Man, the first one, was way better than that one. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp was garbage. Uh, the original that. Ant-Man was so good. Everything it, it about was it was so good. 
The only good thing it had so going good. for it was Paul Rudd. Yeah. That's, our, that's so all. The fight scenes were badass. The way he was like when they were first penetrating that office at the end. And like he was shrinking down and flipping fuckers and getting bit, getting regular size and shrinking down. Those are some pretty cool fight scenes. Oh wow, Bruce Campbell basically confirms his Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So it's gonna be. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at. I, I don't know. I was looking at some stuff. Uh, the cast apparently is gonna have Tobey Maguire. No. Nope. Uh, Andrew Garfield. Where I'm looking you, on Google. Where are you getting this from? Just Google. Just Google. And what Google website, never though? lies. That's what I'm looking at. Google, like it's like Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, 2020, uh, Fantasy Adventure, and then I'm just scrolling down, and then it's director Sam Raimi, and we're looking at here. Yeah, it's got the topes, topesters. There's no way. On- there is no way. Send me the link because I do not believe that. You. Uh, it's it's you just a it. dream. I love her. People I want love- it to happen so bad. I'm it's- posting a screenshot right now in the. Uh, let me do it in the. Facebook. So they're not going to bring the Spider Mans into the Spider Man movie. You think they're going to bring it into the Doctor Strange movies? They you're saying? they would bring someone to play Miles Morales before they brought back Toby and Andrew. I hope Miles Morales. He's my favorite Spider Man. Honestly, I I do like Miles. There's something but wrong with you. Like Toby McGuire was the best. Yeah. No, fuck off. Yes, they can... should do a Logan no. movie for Spider Man as him. Like just well, the old... thing is, I feel like the other Spider Verse already did that because that's Peter B. Bar- Bar- Parker is who the Old Man Parker is. Is he's not the same type of character as Old Man Logan? That's he's not the Justice. R rating. Toby McGuire did it. Grungy. Kirsten Dunst is dead. He's killed Gwen Stacy. Fucking uh, yeah. James Franco hates him. He's still mad about. But his even dad. then. Peter Parker wouldn't be grungy like that. He'd be like Peter B. Parker. But that's why they should do it because it would be it it would just be out there, man. And they'll bring back Eric from that '70s show as Venom, who actually prayed to God to kill Spider-Man. He's like, "Dear God, yeah, please bless this dude." And uh, unless it's like a small five-minute cameo, I don't want to see. Toby McGuire and any of them. I just don't. Oh, you know Toby McGuire. He puts the most effort into any role he's in, and I don't like that you say that because like Toby McGuire, Toby McGuire, he did a lot of baseball, and is it even Mark McGuire? That's what I'm thinking. No. That's yeah. anti-Semitic. Uh, but dude, he's easily like the him. second best Spider-Man. Tom Holland's first. Toby hey, no, I like Andrew Garfield more than Toby McGuire. I like. I hate. It. I Andrew didn't like Garfield him as Spider Man. He was decent. I like those movies. But those movies were better than than. But they man, fucked up. All man. your credibility just went out the window, John. Just uh, instantly. The moment you said that, oh, I really like Andrew Garfield's Spider Man's more. It's like, oh well, get the get get out of here. No, the story was good. Was- the second Amazing Spider Man, in credit scene. Yeah. You see, uh, Rhino. like a hint of the Sinister Six, yeah, and then he fights the Rhino, and I was like, "Come on, man, let's see it." And then they just quit. Mm. Yeah, he was a good. I Spider-Man. like the Rhino and um, and, uh, and the mech suit. Yeah, he was cool. Tom Holland's Tom, good. Tom and if Tom Holland's willing to play Spider Man, you notice it too, man. They're already pumping out another Spider Man movie. So we're pretty much getting back-to-back Spider-Man movies with one movie in between. And that don't really happen with the rotation. I feel like there's going to be like eight or nine Spider-Man movies. His contract actually is up. His contract is actually up by the, no, the yeah, slide. For the no, third movie. You know they're going to sign another one. In this well, third well, movie, from what He's I doing hear, good it's going to be ridiculous. It's going to have all three yeah. Spider-Mans. Tom Hardy is Venom. Jamie Foxx is uh, 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 Electro. The dude from... Toby Maguire's Doc Ock, um, Doctor Strange, yeah, Alfred, Elizabeth Old. Like, that's just like diarrhea of a comic book us. movie. I hope they're just trolling us, and these characters are going to be recast in a different, like, like they're going to be recast as those characters, but it's not going to be connected to. Look, if they the do something Spider-Man like that, trilogy. I want to see the meme. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Where Spider Man's pointing at Spider Man. Yeah. Just have all three oh, of them in a toss, different suits. Yeah, they'll toss that in there. 
And that that's all right within that five minutes of Tobey Maguire. But if Tobey Maguire is all up in this movie, I'm going to be very upset as a he's Spider-Man. Gonna he's going to be in that main character in this he's movie. He's canceled. He got caught up um, in a gambling situation. And he's, oh, as an actor, Toby. he's kind of canceled. Okay. IMDb really? Spider-Man 3 cast. Actually, okay. Whoa. This is crazy. IMDb says Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, James Franco, the same dude yeah. from Spider-Man 3 as Sandman, Topher yeah. Grace as Venom. Oh, wait, no, this is the original Spider-Man 3, my bad. Uh, <laughs> I was like, wait yeah, a minute, yes, what? The exact same thing. They're going to give people who they want. They're not going to use Tom Hardy as Venom. I hope they bring Tom Hardy because I'm still waiting for Venom 2 with Woody Harrelson as uh, Carnage. Yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, the thing is, that they kind of, that's a whole separate universe, though. That's a, that's the Sony verse. That's but the that's Sony verse. Yeah, but they, that, they're going to bring that in. They're going to bring that in because I think they're still releasing Venom in October, Venom 2. Okay, they so moved it back. New Spider Man it's, 3 it's IMDb still coming out. has Zendaya Before as Spider-Man. MJ, Tom Holland, Spider Man. It's got Doctor Strange, same aunt, uh, Jamie Foxx, same Doc Ock, but no other Spider Mans. <laughs> so, no, that's, not, that, that's not giving people what they want. What the people want is. They want Tobey Maguire swinging on webs and no. sh- and showing dong. That's what people want. Hanging that, dong. Hanging dong. No, because he's not really hanging dong. That's the problem. That's like, probably already a thing. But before my wife makes me block y'all on Facebook, I got to ask, what are y'all mad about this week? Um, yeah. I have something I, good right from. I have something right quick. Uh, I hate the fact that no one on this earth can correctly put in a USB the first time. Like no one can. I don't think it's possible. I, I the first time, no matter even if you have it the right way or the wrong way, no one can put it in the first time. I've done it at least three times in my life. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck. No, I'm just ah ah. I, I guess that's the only thing I'm mad about today. I, I, I've been, like, setting up this computer, and, like, uh, that's the one thing that drove me crazy. Oh, but I love him. I love my baby. I'm petting her right now. Hmm. What am I mad about this yeah. week? Well, he's You're mad about, about that, Steven. Uh, Did you know I have a cult of Stephen Kelly's? Uh, Do you? Uh, I already told us about that. I remember. I'm pretty jelly. I only know one other Steven, and we got an eyeglasses together. But Steven it's was the same name, like first. And yeah, his, his was like Steven Macias, and he was at the eye doctor place. And I was like, I, they were like, "Hey, will Steven Macias come up to the front?" And then I was like, "Oh, that's me." And then this other hefty a guy gets up, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" It's like looking at a mirror, and he walked up there and. Got it done. You probably had a dress on and looked great. What are you mad about this week, Stephen Kelly? Um, I got mine, by the way, but let's hear yours. Unless you want yeah. me to go first. I'm I don't think you can pull here. something up, but real quick. One of the Stephen Kellys lives in Lubbock. One of the head dudes of Nightmare on 19th. He was on uh, FMX the other day. And one of my coworkers were like, were you on the radio this morning? I was like, oh, no, that's just one of my uh, friends. We're my not friends. We've never actually met. We're just um, cult mates. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys can meet. I mean, that wouldn't be hard at all. Uh, definitely uh, not as hard as I am. Uh, put you bump. But I was what say, I'm mad so, about this week is was... that newspaper thing. Oh, I remember you talking about that. Yeah, the situation. Just let people Damn. say what they want to say. I'm not going to get into it too much, but the few times I've been banned on Facebook, 
first time ever was for posting a video of um, a girl and a guy putting cereal in a girl's butt. Second time <laughs> was because I said, Americans are dumb, lol. Third time, which got me banned for almost a month, was um, white people are stupid, lol. Oh, yeah, that's a little ridiculous. That's very yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, especially because I'm Caucasian. Not even painfully Caucasian, yeah. but just... Uh, so white I'd people say... are stupid. And so I could still uh, uh, promote my podcast back then. I, I made a Facebook uh-huh. for my cat. Oh, yeah, yeah I remember. Yeah. Well, see, that's embarrassing most... you remember that, man. What's your cat's name again? It's Bubba. Bubba. Bubba, yeah, Bubba Joe. Bubba, Bubba is, Joe, yeah, I remember Bubba Joe, yeah. It's actually is named he? after my dad. Oh, that's really sweet. Don't get all, don't get all sentimental on me. I tried Aww. to make like two or three different uh, Facebooks for me, but they kept banning them. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'll do it for my cat." Oh, that's sad. Oh, all right, well, y'all want to hear what I'm mad about? Yeah. As you know, I work in retail, so there's customers, and so I just I get upset when customers ask for your opinion on something. So let's say someone says, "Hey, which which one of these cat litters is best?" This so the problem is that they're asking. It's wait, like, okay, wait, cool. real quick. This cat this cat litter is cheap. Okay, As what's that? Smart assistant manager. What is the best litter? Because we use like. This Arm and <laughs> Hammer orange box. Okay, okay. That one's good. That one's fine. Arm and Hammer orange box, any of them are just it, fine. Is it's, it good for good. 16 cats, though? <laughs> no, you gotta get that double duty. There's one called double duty. That's a good one. All right, so you say to this customer, and, you, and they're like, they ask you for your opinion. And you say, okay, cool. This it this is the one I like. This is the one I purchase. This is the one I would use. This, or this is the one my girl uses. Whatever. And and we've tried the other ones. This one's the best, in my opinion. And then not only does the customer okay, there's only a few select people like this, but not only does the customer like they already had something in mind. So, for example, I say, okay, I like the Arm & Hammer orange box. Get this orange box. It's cheaper. It's 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 heavier. It, your cats will track less of it. It scoops easier. It's got better odor control. I like this one. And then what about this one? I, I This is the one I was thinking about getting. And I'm like, oh, I've used that one. It's not near as good. And the person still is like, oh, well, That's I think I'm going to go with this one. And not only are they going to go with the original one, but they'll sit there for like 30 minutes and try to justify it to you. And they're like, well, I just heard a lot of good things about this. My friend says this one works really good. Then why and did you even like, well, ask me? Why did you ask my opinion? You knew what you wanted. And we have this one lady, and she is so close to getting the boot. She, she, she is just absolutely horrific towards the employees. She comes like once a week. If she doesn't make a scene, it's it's good. But uh, she does that all the time. And she does it all the time. She, and it, all over the store, cat food, dog food, cat litter, all the time. And she's, she's oh, about to get kicked one, out of PetSmart? This one. Yeah. I'm, I don't know. I don't know, really. But I mean, if, she, if she's rude to another employee, I for sure will ask her not to come back to do her shopping somewhere else. Dude, you should just how really pay somebody to fist fight her. Yeah. yeah, that's or you just kick her out and say, "Hey, don't come back." But I can't really do that. It's got to be real extreme. Like, I gotta, it's... exactly that's why you pay somebody to fist fight. Uh, you like, hey, have a question, you gotta though. get out of here. But why like, do you ask my opinion if you're not gonna take it? And cool, if you wanted to know my opinion, but it didn't change your mind, cool. But why are you gonna waste my time and spend minutes and minutes? Trying to get me to tell you, yeah, that's a good idea to go with your opinion. Like, you no, mean, I'm not going to say that. I gave you my fucking opinion. Look, give me and my opinion seconds. was this pee. one. So, so if you're going to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So if you're going to if you're gonna take your opinion, cool. If you decided my opinion didn't outweigh your opinion, 
cool. But why are you going to sit there and try to get me to, to, to change my words? You know, they, 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 they keep talking and they're like, oh, well, 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 do you think this one will be all right? Yeah, it'll be all right. But I told you right now, this one's better. You know, this other one's better. Why I'll be honest. Get, that what's the, the, yeah, what's the, because I get that a lot too. It's like, hey, you know, what's the better phone? It's like, oh, this. And then they're like, oh. Well, what about this one? Oh, okay. Well, you can use that one. Or, oh, what's the best porn site? Oh, none of them are really that good for your phone. And then they're like, oh, I really like this one. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. I was going to ask you, uh, what's the uh, best uh, cat litter if you're going to eat it? Look, sorry. I don't I don't know what y'all were talking about. But next time she asks your opinion, you should just be like, look, I've actually pooped in this litter. And it works really good for me. I didn't even have to use yeah. toilet paper. I'm hey. pooping like five times the size of a normal cat shit. So, pretty impressive. You know, that really says something about this litter, ma'am. <laughs> really shows the power behind that. Yeah. Do, do y'all uh, actually like think pooping? about what you're mad about this week? Or oh, no. Does it? Are you See, actually like mad I- about? I feel like I had something. I was legit mad. And when this lady left, I was mad for like 30 minutes. Like, what the f- I was just in a bad mood. Because she, she did the same shit. Well, this time, I don't think it was that. But she's emphasis. Emphis- I can't say it. She, she always does this. Emphasize. And, uh, yeah, this time, she was complaining about prices. And she was saying, hey, your cashier said it was this price. And I was like, no, I doubt that. But now that we're back here and we see it. This Fancy Feast cat food is 66 cents. This off-brand, that's our brand, great choice, it's 55. Now that so, you got that cleared up, don't go back to the registers and create problems. I actually had to tell her this. I was like, it, that's, those are the prices. We're not going to price match it just because you wanted a different price. Uh, let me How much do you get paid? Do. Me? I can't say that. I mean, being, uh, I've been in customer service. Podcast. I've uh, never I wanted to deal with customers. I've dealt been in customer service, and I'm just like, I don't want to deal with customers. I'll do the behind-the-scenes really the work, but to deal with what you're talking about, I'm talking about at least at least $15 an hour. But yeah, whatever, you don't have to say. I was going to say $18 an hour to podcast. But in case somebody's yeah. listening that I work with, no one needs to know how much I make. And but I'll, I'll more than happy to tell y'all off the podcast. Not as much as his OnlyFans. Like, his OnlyFans probably yeah. brings in a little more. But No, that's a lot. Yeah, that's Look, just I'm me. telling you, I make almost $20 an hour, and I probably work half as hard as y'all. I just yeah. got to sit outside hey, all day. Fucking, most customers, no matter how outrageous they are, is really not all that bad. There's some that are rude to you, and you're just like, oh, whatever. But 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 some customers, and there's always the ones that do it multiple times, and those are the ones that you're like, what are you doing? Like, leave. there's one guy that I've told him my name was John, and he calls me Robbie, and that's my yeah. boss, that's my boss's name, and he calls me Robbie every time. And the last time, I just didn't even answer to it. I just kept walking. And Is that not to me? Oh, you can't say hi to me, Robbie. And I go, well, my name's not Robbie. It's John. And I didn't say this, but I was thinking. I was like, and this is like the eighth time we've had this conversation. Like, my is your name, name not Robert? That's no. weird. I totally thought it was Robert, but um, I, 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 I have a project so. for y'all this week. What's the project? Project. See if you're See significant if you can suck other. Your own dick. I mean, not yeah, not. that that that's extra credit. But see if your significant other is mad about something this week. So I just okay. asked my wife, and she said no. Well, man, we got to extend the podcast about three hours, then, if that's the case. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot to report back on. No, I'm just joking. I just might joking. Have said, it's like this, this, and this. I already got a week online. She's fun to talk to. I always like her. But, yeah, she's she's pissed off about a yeah, lot of I'll ask her. Yeah. Steve, you, yours is do. probably mad about making that dank ass sandwich. She's just like, man, I just fucking slaved away, he and he's over here talking about sucking his own dick. Yeah, that's actually she. She kind of walked in on that, and she was just looking at me, and I was like, uh, first off, 
man, I'm, I'm not actually going to suck my own dick. But if we had to make the money, I would do an OnlyFans of me doing it. But could I do it? I think I'm too fat. I think if I lost some weight, I think I could do it. No, you can't do it. It's impossible. It's not impossible. I really think I can. I think it's just because I'm a little fat. And if I wasn't so fat, I could do it. Well, trying is technically working out. It's like a sit-up, pretty much. Yeah. Well, we'll worry about those. I gotta get going. But yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna change mine to... I'm I'm mad about my wife not being mad about anything. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, because I... Oh, wait, do... never mind. I... To scratch that. She said she's gonna fix it. So um, yeah. We, we, I guess we'll okay. wrap this up. This has been a good, <laughs> a good one. Y'all yeah. sounded beautiful. Y'all look beautiful. I have to admit, this worked out a lot better. Yeah, like I really like this new mic. I really like everything about this. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, there you go. And uh, you, you should go. download MUA on your Switch so you can get together with dude. I will. I haven't played my Switch in a while. I stopped playing it. Was uh, I go grab it. I gotta go get it. <laughs> I haven't played Ultimate Alliance since GameCube days, but it looks like Diablo, but Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> Make your own hero. Fun. There's like fifty some yeah, odd characters yeah. to choose from. Even Thanos. Hell yeah! Can you be the Punisher? No. He. Uh, what is he gonna do in the world of Marvel, John? Also, you know what's also like one thing that bothers me a lot is Daredevil's power is that he can't read. Like Daredevil can't what? read. Okay. He can't, he can't read. He just has to be braille. That's, that's not like is is that like reading though? Or is that feeling? It's technically reading, but how would they even know that like on on a restroom sign it says men and then there's braille underneath? How would they even know the signs there? But this is a topic for another week and your comparison of Daredevil is kind of anti Semitic. Saying a a beautifully powerful blind man is power is can't read. It's how does he, he doesn't have any other power than that? But he can he does, him, he's, got like a, he's got a heightened spider sense. He's got a he can tell if you're coming from like if he's in a building, he can tell if you open that front door six stories down. He can smell you that far down. He's got the greatest sense of smell in the Marvel universe. Uh, you know, that he Wolverine. Farts for uh, days and days. Did you also, was the, gonna... the first two minutes of that podcast I sent y'all. It's a song about fucking horses. And on that note, hope y'all enjoyed this. Have <laughs> this a good week. All right. I'll you too. You too. See you. Bye. Bye.